Lord of the Smoke. Absolutely. <laughs> it was good, right? No, I'm chilling, man. We in the lab. Right back at it. Same shit. I got you back in Philly. Uh, yeah. Coming off of, we was in Vegas for like a week, two weeks? Like a week uh, from uh, last Wednesday morning to yesterday or two days ago, some shit. What was you in Vegas for? We was getting that work with uh, Tank Davis, uh, Brill and Tank. He got 12 rounds while we was out there, six and six. Tank really, he on some shit. He ready to go. Look good. All right, Jabril's what, 23 years old, 4-0, four, no, four knockouts. He fights yeah. 130, 135? Yeah. Yeah. All right, why did you feel like Brill was ready for that, you know, that kind of that kind of level of sparring? I mean, you always just need to see. You just need to see. It ain't even really about so much being ready. It's just you need to see how a guy react. You need to see how he respond. You need to see, you know, how you know how he feel when he get in there. Um, you know, it was just a lot I wanted to see, and I got a lot of answers, too. So I feel good. I feel good about what I saw, though. Was it easy? Fuck no. It's Tink Davis. It's never be, I feel like it'll never be easy with a guy like Tink. I mean, he give you too many looks. Um, but was it that I feel good about what I saw all together when you being the coach thinking about it? Yeah, because you're thinking about a dog who didn't have – amateur fights really he had probably like 13 amateur fights maybe um never been to a national tournament um turned pro and only got four pro fights being in there with a world champion you know what i'm saying possibly the most exciting fighter out today mm. possibly top three hardest punching fighters in the game you know what i'm saying so to see a guy like that like brill in there with a guy like Tank Davis, and you know what I mean? Come out of the ring still speaking English, I feel good. Now, he sparred him fresh off the plane? It's fresh off the plane. Like, we got on, we, all right, so we got on a flight. Our flight left Philadelphia at 5.45 in the morning. So, you know they, with they three hours behind us. So that's 2.45 out there. So we get to Chicago, had to chill in Chicago for a little bit, then caught the flight from Chicago to Vegas. We get to Vegas, it's like, it's probably like, it's probably like two something near time. He said Joe Biden was in Vegas, so Joe Biden got the shit held up. So we in traffic for like an hour. Get to the hotel, hotel like, yo, we don't got y'all rooms ready. So we gotta wait an hour and a half for the rooms. So by the time we get to the hotel rooms, inside the room, it's five o'clock. We gotta be at the gym at seven. So it's five o'clock, we go lay down much as, you know, get as much sleep as we could. Um, we had separate rooms, but we go lay down to the rooms. Six, six, six forty-five, we had to be in the lobby. Six forty-five, we in the lobby, seven o'clock, we over at the gym, getting ready. Tank don't pull up till like eight. You know what I'm saying? They getting they getting busy by like eight thirty. I mean straight like that, jump off the plane. What did you learn about Brill and what did you learn about Tank? I learned about Brill was, you know what I mean, he, he tough as nails, first of all, and I knew he was, but, I mean, that's a different level of tough. Um, he is fast as I think, as I thought he was. Um, and I also learned, like, you know what I'm saying, even though he, he on the upper hand most of the time, it's good to see how a guy handle when they on the, when they on the, the under, you know what I mean, when they, when they on the under, they're not always getting over, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Tank. Tink, like Tink, I like how Tink worked, man, because he was giving different looks. He was working behind his jab the first day, just being sharp, trying to let, trying not to let. He was filling Burl out. He was doing what he's supposed to do. He filling him out. But whenever he take the lead, he'll take the lead. But I'm looking for Burl to fold or act funny. You know what I mean? Really one, you know what I mean? He take the shot, all right, boom, keep it moving. I'm like, all right. I was trying to see if he was going to exaggerate anything like that, like act like he getting hit with a gun, you know what I'm saying, or some shit like that. But... I mean, he took it like he was supposed to. Last shot, last last round, the first time, take him with a good shot. Bro, bro was like, I'm good. But he was a little, you could tell he was a little, he like, damn, he felt that jump. Mm -hmm. So we caught time a little bit, but I mean, he got right back off that jump. He wanted to, he wanted to keep working. So I'm like, all right, I like it. I mean, this is off the airplane. 
come back two days later. I mean, not two days later, but a day later because they took a break on Thursday. They box again Friday. Now will take bring a different style, putting a little bit more pressure together. He loading up a little more. You know what I mean, he 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 giving them sneaky shark angles as he as he walking down. You know what I mean, he dumping that shit. Good word. I mean, I like what I saw because I responded. But again, last round he landed a great shot to the body this time. You know what I mean, I'm like this nigga, he nasty. You know what I mean? But I'm the reason. Some people might say, Greg, why would you be impressed if your fighter is ended up? He ended up getting worked over. Cause we not in no type of this shit is not made for us. We come in there, we jump off a plane, we box. We got a day off. The day off, we train in the in the in the uh, the hotel gym, which is a uh, it's not even a gym. It's a uh, it's a fitness center. Yeah, so it was like so a, we train in it's a, like a small room. Yeah, yeah that's how we do. train in a fitness center. I mean, it was a gym, but it, was, it had like ellipticals and shit. Mm. It's not like boxing bags in there. We train in a we train in a fitness center. We run, we put some miles in. You know what I'm saying, and then we go back and we box him again. I'm impressed because we don't. You know what I mean? This shit not in our favor. You know what I mean? But my guy being a dog, he being the dog, I know he is. So it's like, and it's the game. You know what I mean? I don't know. What the fuck? Shit happens. But Tank be, being who he's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It's a different league. His kid got four amateur fights. Has, hasn't, I mean, four pro fights. Hasn't been took in the distance yet at all. Mm. Tank, you know what I'm saying? 20, what, eight fights? 26 knockouts? It's, yeah, some, some shit 20, like that. 27 and 25. Yeah, something yeah, like some that. Some crazy shit, right? Yeah. So, come on. You know what I mean? As a coach, all right, I know I got something. You know I mean, a lot of people might not see it. Some people might disagree with what I'm saying, but it's what it is. Could we have stayed out there longer? Yeah, we could have, but I'm smarter than the average beer, though. You know what I mean, I see what I need to see. Get up out of there. You know what I mean? How, now, seeing it up close, you've always been very complimentary of Javante Davis, but now seeing it up yeah. close and actually coaching against him, how good is he? He I already know, I already knew he was good. It was just that it's just like you see little, like it'd be the little details you see that'd be like, the fuck, like where he get that from? Like what made him? Th- you know what I mean, what made him come up with that? Where? I, I, it made it made me wonder like where he where did he pick up some of that shit? You know what I'm saying? Because it was it was it was it was crazy seeing it. It was crazy seeing it up close. Like some Give me an example. Moves, some of the little moves he made, some of the feints, some of the pivots. You know what I mean? His feet, his foot, his feet very fast. Head movement. You know what I mean? How he could be, how he could be locked in, right? He could be moving. He could be moving 100 miles per hour. He could hear what Calvin's saying. He could hear what Kenny's saying. You know what I'm saying? Just like shit like that. Just little shit. And it, it's not like I never seen some of that shit. It's just that. It's just like, all right, it's confirmation. Like, all right, he on some shit. I like him, though. I like Tim Davis. I told people before, I like him. But every time I see one of those guys, I see something I like. You know what I mean? One of them top guys. But he's a dangerous dude, for sure. I, I, I kind of feel like Ryan going out in seven now. Within seven rounds. I was saying within ten, but now I kind of feel like seven. I mean, he, 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 he a nasty dude. And I know Ryan got some shit with him, too, but... I don't know, bro. Tink different animal, bro. 